Where are we? Aha! My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and someone asked, oh, do you know what, I had his name. No, fucking lost it. Yeah. Anyway, I can't remember what his name was, so it doesn't matter, the, the, you know, the video is the important thing. Sorry if I forget people's names, there are so many comments. Not complaining, but there are. You know, you're going to have to kind of give me a bit of leeway and say, yeah, yeah, fair enough. But any anyway, rod, <laughs> fucking hell, come on, Matt, go on with it. Um, two up, two down. Not the television programme, engines. So, uh, some guy commented saying that he was surprised that, um, oh, fucking hell, cross-plane crankshafts were a new thing. In motorbikes, no, they've been around for a long time. Uh, a brilliant example of a engine that used a cross-plane crankshaft um, quite successfully was a GT40, the Ford. And all the way through the ages, they've used cross-plane crankshafts. Uh, they do have their own problems and issues, and I will be doing a video on that soon. I hate trying to describe um, cylinder firing orders. It's just not a... Ha it's an easy thing-ish to understand, it's not an easy thing to describe without getting really complicated. If it was all two strokes it'd be fine. That's one reason why I do love two strokes is because it's easy to describe firing orders with multis, multiple cylinder engines. With Because it's two rotations and blah blah blah. Stop moaning Matt. So he, he asked, he said, I can't believe that cross-plane crankshafts aren't the norm. Um, I thought they were generally that way. So what the, you know? What are the benefits or why do engines have two up two, two up two down? So what's a two up two down? If you don't know, um, crank pin there. Then you have a journal on the web. Crank pin there, journal. Crank pin there, journal. Uh, journal web journal web <laughs> crank pin web main shaft. So as you can see, there's one here. There's four here, there's two here, and there's three here. All the crank pins, there are two up and there are two down. When you look from the side, there's your centre, there's your centre line. So one and four are here, and two and three are here. They are 180 degrees out of phase, and we call this, this is just the standard inline four crankshaft, which we call a two up, two down. So why the fucking hell is it not one, two, three, four, which is a cross-plane crankshaft? Because with our two up, two down here, this, what the fuck am I standing on? Doing my head in. With the bearing packet. Um, two up, you know, our two up, two down here is one pin, another pin. It's on one plane going through the centre line of the crankshaft. So we call this a single plane. Um, for our cross plane, we have two, like this, and it's a cross. Fucking hell, these lot of geniuses, aren't they? Um, so, why do we have the two up, two down? The reason why is because the um, four strokes rotate 720 degrees, or two times, two times 360, to complete a full cycle. Uh, you do this for balance reasons as well. These two go down, two go up two go up, these two come down, kind of thing. I didn't do the, yeah. Any road, I've done a lot of these videos, it's coming to the end of the day, thank God for that. Um, so yeah, you've got your two up, two down, but why is it two up, two down? The reason why is because with your two up, two down, you always get a power stroke every 180 degrees. So just say, let's say piston one, piston one fires, so it fires, and then we rotate the crankshaft 180 degrees. Then piston three fires. So piston three fires, so we've got, these are all 180 degrees apart. And then the crankshaft rotates another 180, and then piston four fires. So piston four fires, and then again with 180 degree separation, and then 
we rotate 180 degrees, one small and piston two, piston two fires. Right, now you can reverse this order, you can have one, four, three, two, or one, four, uh, three, four, two, like that. Okay now, you can have one, three, four, two, or one, three, uh, doing it again. <laughs> so, you can switch it around. <laughs> I'm going to put it at the beginning of the video, you don't know how many times I've tried to do this. It's just fucking, um, it's tired, and um, it's just, yeah, yeah. Excuses, Matt. Shut the fuck up. Stop with a puff. You can have one, three, four, two, or you can have one, two, four, three. So you can switch these two around. It's not necessarily this order, one, three, four, two. You can switch them around because um, these two pistons are at the bottom and you can choose which either one you want to fire next. It is up to you. But generally, um, for torsional reasons, you'd quite want to do this. You'd want to go uh, one, three, four, two. You can go the other way around for other torsional reasons. You can go one, two, four, three. And one, two, four, three, I would prefer to do. I don't know why I wrote it that way, because I'm a fucking idiot. Any road. Um, so it's because you have this 180 degree separation, which means if we get rid of all this shit, If we look at our firing sequence, and that line there represents a 360, that's 0, 720, it means that we get a bang there, a bang there, a bang there, and a bang there. If, when you have a cross-plane crankshaft, um, this doesn't happen, you start to have a weird thing because you've got a crank because you've got a crankshaft a fucking plane because you've got a crankshaft that has 90 degree separation then you'd have um, just say a fire there and then do you fire this one you could fire there you don't fire this one if you fire there then you've run out of and it gets a bit funky so one of them has to fire there or you can have a double fire and that's all cross-plane crankshaft stuff. Um, that requires its complete own video because, yeah, it does. Because it's not just the fact of the firing order, like the Big Bang sequence and other sequences. It's all about the reasons why just say Yamaha went with um, a cross-plane crankshaft. How they're trying to justify it. End road. So that's the 2-up, two 2-down. Two this is the reason why we have the 2-up, two 2-down. Two because if you get your 720... Uh, degrees of rotation which is two full rotations if you do this and you divide this by four because you've got four cylinders over a four stroke this equals 180 degrees which means that you want one of your four pistons firing every 180 degrees and when you divide this out that basically means that you have to have 180 degrees of separation on your crankshaft and if you do that you have one piston up here one down here one down here and one down here with all your webs in between like so so you have to have this 180 degree separation so you have two up two down you could try and go like this you know so you go backwards and forwards backwards and forwards like that that has its own balancing issues basically that's just two rocking couples and yeah i'll do a video on that as well hope that made sense and i'll see you in a bit